So I wanted to show you guys how I set up my barcoding system. You can just go in, find the item, scan it. Hey guys welcome to another emmy creations video and for those who don't know me my name is emily and i run a small business called emmy creations and i basically make merchandise of my art on things like t-shirts stickers greeting cards and all that kind of stuff so there are a few items you will be needing to make this system work the first is going to be the actual scanner and the company that makes the scanner that goes with the Square program and the iPad is Socket Mobile and I'll link to the exact model which is the S700 that I bought and I believe it's $230 right now and it is wireless so it does work on Bluetooth and it connects right to the iPad. Now you have to use an iPad and not an iPhone just because Square does not allow uh, Socket Mobile to connect through the iPhone. So you will need an iPad as well. And then on top of that, just have a standard Square account, the free version that you can set up with any email. So for those who don't own a barcode scanner or an iPad, this can be a pricey ordeal. So be sure to stay tuned and I'm gonna go through like how I use it, why I like it, and then you can decide if it's gonna work for your company as well. So first of all, just as a disclaimer, the barcodes we are using is not the standard barcodes that you see in stores. Those are UPC barcodes and you do have to pay for those. The barcodes that we're going to be making and using are made from SKUs. And if you're not familiar with SKUs, I do have a video that was uploaded last week that I also link top somewhere and put in the description below of how to make your own SKUs for your own company. Um, so we're going to use these SKUs and a barcode generator program to create our internal uh, not <laughs> big box store used barcode. So this is only a system we use internally for ourselves when we go to shows or when we sell or just to track our own inventory. So I just want to make sure people know that you cannot send this to wholesale stores. Uh, they will not be able to utilize your barcodes. Uh, UPC barcodes are different. Uh, these barcodes will not be recognized in their system. They usually have their own system anyways. So this is just for yourself. So now that we got that out of the way, I wanted to explain how I use my barcoding system and why I chose to set it up for my company specifically. So I go to a lot of shows for my company. This includes uh, markets, this includes comic cons, expos, all that kind of stuff. I found that during these times, First of all, I can get really, really busy at a show. I can have multiple professors coming at me at the same time. Um, I also hire a lot of people to work at the shows or ask my friends to help me spend their time with me to work at the shows with me. And I needed a system that was easy for them to pick up as well. So there's three great things about the barcoding system specifically for shows or uh, in-person selling events. The first being that it's really quick to check people out. So if I have multiple people, which does happen a lot, and I'm either by myself or I'm only there with one more person, it's really hard for us to get through like a lot of people at the same time. So the scanning system is great because you, a lot of people I see like write down what is being sold, which can get really slow and it can, you miss a lot when you're doing that, mostly when it gets really, really busy because I have tried it before. So if you're scanning all your items, it's really easy to automatically have the price there, um, have the total write up really quickly, and then be able to check them out immediately. Um, this also leads into inventory tracking. It's great for immediate real-time inventory tracking. So as you're scanning out a customer, Square deducts that from your inventory. So it knows you sold one and your inventory has now deducted from one. So it gives you immediate real-time information about your sales and your inventory so you don't oversell. The third thing that's super great is I do have a lot of people that I have helped me, whether it be friends or family or people that just want to help me from my followers. And it's great to 
be able to onboard them through my selling process really quickly. So they don't have to learn any of the titles of my products. They don't have to learn like what the SKUs are even. They just have to be able to scan it in and check the customer out. So it's really easy for new people that want to help you to get started fast. So you don't have to waste time trying to explain your whole process to everybody. The second way I use it is actually at home. And I also keep a master list of barcodes at home to scan whenever I sell an item on Etsy or wholesale. So here's an example of my master scan list. I put all my stock that is in my upstairs warehouse in square. So the square stock numbers represent what is immediately available to sell. And every time I get an Etsy sale or a wholesale um, order or even like an order from my pop-up, I will put it into the Square program. So I use it as a one-stop shop for everything I've sold in my company. This really helps me figure out what I need to reorder. Um, Square has a, a low inventory alert system so you can set up alerts for yourself of when stock goes too low. So the first step is to actually create SKUs. As I mentioned, I do have a very great video of how to create SKUs for your products for your company and I'll link it somewhere up there there. So make sure you do that first before proceeding on because that's basically what we're going to be using the whole time to create our barcodes and make sure the barcodes is scannable through the Square system. So step two is setting up your Square properly. For those not familiar with Square, Square is basically a program or a service where you can sell your product, you can take credit card payments, you can do invoicing, so a lot of great stuff for in-person sales, but it also has a great inventory tracking system. So whenever you create an item, I will show you on my square here, as you can see, I already have a lot of my products in here, a new item, and you can name the item whatever you want. So let's do, do special t-shirt. Um, and then we're going to have to put the SKU in as we were talking about. So the SKU we can use is similar to, um, let's call it special. So a t-shirt, maybe it's in the foodie, and it's a special, and that's the SKU I labeled this t-shirt under. And then just put the price in. So maybe your t-shirt is $25. And mostly for t-shirts, they usually have variations. So one thing you can do is you can add a variation to it. So the first one can be maybe um, extra small. And then you can add a variation, and the variation name is small, and the SKU would have the small at the end. As you can see, this one is the extra small, this one is the small. Make sure to label this extra small. And that's basically all you need to do to set up an item. So that's basically what you need to make the system work. The SKU, probably a name, and the price. Another great thing to make sure you add is the stock. Count your stock. There's a few tracking options. Here I usually do stock received and maybe I order 20 shirts in the extra small size. Same with here, uh, stock received and 10 shirts in the extra small size or the small size this time. So now you have the stock being tracked, the price there and the SKU, you're ready to go. Make sure you do this for every single product you want tracked or you want to be selling. And once you have this all set up, then we can move to the next step. The next step, step three, is to set up Square and your barcode in your iPad. So you can find Square app in the app store and you can go ahead and download it. This is the barcode we are using and I do recommend you buy it directly from the Socket mobile website. And I'll definitely also have a link in the description below of where you can get that. And then once you have your barcode, you turn it on with the small button right here and you long press it and it's going to make that little beeping noise. 
So if you need a hard reset it, you click the small button in the big button at the top until it turns off. You push it together until it turns off. So that's like a little secret tip. And then there's going to be a blue light that flashes on this side. And it's going to be the one that is going to tell you that it's searching. So if you go into your settings tab and you go into Bluetooth, you should be able to see the socket and the uh, model number and the name product number. So once your iPad finds it, just connect to it right away. And now that you know you're connected, you can go back to your Square app. And to make sure you're, it usually tells you, but to make sh extra sure that you're connected, you can go into settings. Oh, see, popped up to show me a barcode scanner is attached. And you can go to hardware and you can go to barcode scanner. So if you have any issues, you can also go to try to connect through here. You can do the connect a Bluetooth scanner and then it'll have a few steps to go through if you're having issues with just connecting via Bluetooth. Um, for the first time, usually you have to do this. You have to scan the barcode, um, and then it'll say, go to the Bluetooth settings and make sure it's turned on and you have it like we did. And then it should pair successfully. Now I've had scanner versions that had connection issues, if you do, just contact the company. Um, they will either help you or give you a new version if they really can't help you out. So they're really great for that and make sure that um, you have one that is connected, stays connected. So whenever you open the scanner and open your iPad or Square, it should automatically connect. It, it should not give you too many issues. And if you are encountering issues, be sure to contact their support system. The next step is a very important step. It's basically creating these actual barcodes. So there are a few ways I recommend you creating the barcodes. If you have a Mac, you can buy and download the iBarcoder. So this is what I use. And I believe it's $50, so it's not too bad. And you just download it from the Mac uh, App Store. So there's gonna be a few that they're going to show and the one we're going to use is code 128 and then you can input your SKU right here so maybe it's SDL um you suck <laughs> extra small there and i usually copy and paste this into maybe illustrator or photoshop or just a word document whatever you want to use to print and set up and you can actually, so I can scan my, <laughs> I can scan my screen right now just to test to make sure the barcode works. So I'm gonna turn on my barcoder and it should connect right to my system when I turn it on. Sometimes it takes a little time. Uh, it takes a few seconds usually to connect it. And you hear that nice beep and it should just have it on there, awesome. So it does recognize it. If you don't have a Mac or if you don't want to pay for the Mac version of iBarcoder, there's also a few online places that you can go to to create barcodes. Um, you usually just look up barcode generator in Google and you can find a few of them. I'll link this, these two that I found in the description below if you want to utilize those. This one's really cool because it has advanced options of how big you can want it and the font size and stuff like that. Um, this is another one, free barcoder. As you can see, we also have to choose specifically the 128 code and it will show you the barcode on the right and you can do medium size or large and then download it from there. The only downside is like it's kind of annoying to download so many, but they are free, so that's also nice if you want to do that. And these work perfect. Um, I've already tried scanning them in. So one tip I do have of scanning, if you can't scan it, you, you can click and drag out. And sometimes it just takes a little while to, for it to find the actual coding system. So yeah, those work great. You can see both of them scan in. So the last step is basically for you to print the barcodes and stick them onto your products. 
I use the Avery eight. I use Avery eight one six seven uh, labels to do it, and they have this great like it comes off really easily, like a tabby thing going on. So it's really easy and it fits with my really, really long barcodes. I have a few like the t-shirt one where they have specific um, color variations. So they get very long. So I like the long labels. Um, if your skew is smaller, you can probably opt into like shorter labels. Kind of depends on your skew size. And on their website, usually on any label website, they have like the templates for you there. So once you download your barcode from whatever the website or iBarcoder, then you can put them into a program like Photoshop, Square, any, or whatever they use for their templates and print it out on one of these sheets and you're good to go to start sticking it onto your product. And it's also great because you can still use the sheets to create your own like master barcode list. So I have a file where it has one of each product type and I can just print it out whenever to have a master list like this. So it's definitely relatively easy to set up and I love scanning things. I don't know why it's like a childhood dream of mine to scan all my products in. So it's both fun and great for your business. So do let me know if you're utilizing this system for your business as well. We have a Discord channel. Drop some pictures, uh, videos, or anything. Let's chat. I would love to hear about what you're doing and what you're working on. Or else you can also email me uh, if you have any questions. Put comments below. And I'm also on Twitch if you want to have an in-person chat. That's also an option over there. If you do like our content, be sure to subscribe, push the like button, and get updated on all our new videos. I have so much more information to share with you guys, and I really hope you enjoy all the videos that are coming out, and hopefully it helps. I would love to hear back from you. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. It's always great to be here, and I'll see you guys in the next video.